So hello guys, welcome back. Now that we have finally done setup and configuration, we are ready to get started with Flutter development and build our first app. In this app, I will cover the basic concepts of Flutter. So let's jump right into our editor. Firstly, we will open VS Code and then open command plant. And here we will type Flutter new project. Then we will click on application. Then it will ask for the folder where the project should be saved. Users and studio projects and create a new folder. Write name and then finish. And then it will ask for a project name. I will type first app press enter it will create a flutter project for you just wait a while once everything is set expand the lib folder and double click on the main.dart file this is the starting code written by flutter team which is a counter app we have already run this app in android studio and vs code installation time now we have to erase all code to start from scratch just simply type import single quotes and then type material dot dot and it will auto complete after that simply write void main and then angle brackets and then type run app and inside run app simply type material app because we have to build a blank material app and this conforms to material design pattern actually this material design is created by google and a lot of apps have adopted it so by using flutter we have a wide variety of material components which we can embed in our project we will see different flutter widgets in a while now that we have written material app we can start building a widget tree in it so the most important thing we can set is home and this is where everything gets started so in our home we want to see a text widget that will say hello world so we will type text opening brackets then hello world now if we want to run our app we have to start our emulator so go to run and start debugging it will ask for a device select pixel 4 it shows the text inside our material app and at this moment it is not looking great it's just a black screen with an awkward position which is overlapping with our no notification bar right now there are two widgets the parent widget is the material app and all of your flutter app will start from material widget and right now we are simply showing text widget inside material app and by default text widgets gets aligned on the top of the screen this is why we are seeing it right up there so now if we want to centralize our text widget then we will write center child and then paste it and now when we reload our app it's under the center hierarchy so you can see that the center widget is responsible for laying out the screen and helping it to put something right in the center and the material app will be always on the top of all the widgets now at the moment our code is all on the same line and it's kind of hard to read it properly so we will put commas on every end of these small brackets and then we will format document and then our code will appear like this which makes it more readable so now you will see that everything lies inside the main function when our app is run the starting file is main.dart file so it launches this app and this starts from the top it looks for something called main 
and then it will look to see what it should do. This is the starting point of all apps. You can also collapse each image like this. So you can focus on other widgets. And also you can see that the flutter extensions guide us at each line widget is ending. Like this is center widget and this is material. If I will place comma here and then format document then it will tell us that this is material app widget. Also we can add comments like this. This is the starting point of our code so that our future self can remember why we wrote this line of code. Or if you are working with a team then you can explain to your teammates. So now we have reached that point where we have to build a beautiful interface. So for that we can create scaffold in this material app so that we can have an app bar and a floating action button if we want to. And I recommend reading scaffold documentation so that you can know what the scaffold widgets can do. So instead of having a center widget in our home widget, we will write scaffold here. After that, we will write app bar widget, which is a pre-built widget material design. And it has different types of properties like background color. And we will set colors dot ember. Also, we can add title, which is a text widget and write jptronic and now we will format the document and now we will reload the app so it will look like this now if we want to change the background color of an app then we will add a background color property to it so right under scaffold we will write background color and colors dot ember and we will hit save so now you can see that it looks something nicer. Now if we want to add an image in our app then we will add the body property just under app bar type body and type image and then insert network image. Right now I am adding image via internet and in my next video I will tell you how to add images from your local folder. So now this network image requires a URL. So we will head towards Google and type network image flutter. Click on first link and copy this URL and paste it into your code. And you can see that we have to insert a URL with a single code when we are using dot. While in other programming languages like Java or Swift, we have to use double quotes. So keep that in mind. Now we are telling our code to fetch image from this URL. So now if we reload our app, then it will show us the image right in the body of an app. So now if we want to centralize this widget, then I will tell you a shortcut that will make it super easy for you. Simply right click on image and then refactor and then wrap with center and it will automatically render it. Now if we hit the reload button, you can see that your image is centralized. So this is enough for this module. We have learned a lot of things like how to use scaffold, how to use app bar, how to add background colors, how to add image. Right now our app hierarchy looks like this. Our material app is on top then scaffold. After that we added a background color to scaffold widget. Then we have an app bar which contains colors and text field. Also in scaffold widget we have used center widget which contain image which is network image. So I will see you in next module till then goodbye.